Right, <coughs> so I'm going to do the vacuum pump seal today, which is all the way under there. So this has got to come out. And basically, there's loads of videos online on how to do this. Uh, I've put a couple of links in my last video, I'll put them in this one. But um, I will just do a time lapse or show the basics because there's actually not a lot to remove to get to it so let's get started and i'm also going to try and have a clean up down the back because there's obviously a lot of oil coming out there and uh, funny enough you can see a lot of oil gear as well so there's oil everywhere on this on this engine so let's get started first off we've got to remove the um bottom filter these three clips. So these clips here, they basically put down. And then there's four torque screws in there. It's giving us access to the pump, which is down there somewhere. Now we've taken the cover off the top to see the pump. Just here. Let's have a check down there for the oil. fresh oil down there who would know those three little buggers so difficult to get out from that you can't really show the process but apart from this pipe now I should be able to remove the pump but it might need a little bit of help so it's all undone and I've loosened it and there we go. I just need to take this pipe off 
I'm not going to be able to do that one handed, but there's the seal. There's the pump rather, where I need to change the seal on, and I'll do that inside. Here's the pump out of the car. Need to make sure that you remember roughly where this goes because this goes into the end of the camshaft and when you put it back on you need to make sure it's in at least roughly the right location so there's two seals come with the kit the smaller one goes in here which on mine was actually stuck to the engine and uh, you can see there's been some oil leaking through through the seal there down there and the other seal is inside here so we need to remove these uh, five torque screws which are I think torques 25 or 30 uh, and then the other seal is inside something to mop that up. It's quite interesting how this works. So it just floats it's almost like a rotary engine I guess. So I've given the pump a clean up uh, looking a lot better. Uh, Inside, obviously taken the inside off, cleaned it all up. New seal on the inside, which was to replace this one. And the new seal there, just put a bit of oil around it just to hold it in place mainly so it doesn't fall off when I put this back in. So next step is to get this back on the car. Oh, well, this was full of oil. So there's obviously a lot of crankcase pressure pushing oil into here rather than other way around. So I've got everything back on now. Um, I've only really put it on temporarily in case it rains because if you look here, all this oil, there's a lot of oil down there, which is obviously coming from the um, oil filter housing. I've got new gasket for that. But yeah, this is not nice. And I'm not really sure where that's coming from. These seals can also go as well on the, I think that's the Vanos sensors. Um, and obviously if there's a lot of back pressure in the engine, then that's not gonna help. So yeah, we'll see what happens there, but I'm gonna give it a good clean up before I continue uh, with the next step, which is the CCV filter, which means all of this coming off. Oh, and one last thing. I've taken the bonnet switch off because I've got a feeling that might be the cause of the alarm going off when it's locked. I've had to keep it unlocked for the last few weeks, but see if that helps. <laughs> 